Did you know the Super Bowl is the second largest day for U.S. food consumption following Thanksgiving? Now that's a super feast. The Super Bowl, an annual event that transcends the realm of sports, becoming a cultural phenomenon that grips the nation. It's not just about the clash of the titans on the gridiron, it's a spectacle, a celebration, and for many, an unofficial holiday. With an enormous viewership that spans the globe, the Super Bowl commands the undivided attention of millions. Fans huddle around television screens, eyes glued to the action, each play a potential game-changer. The anticipation, the cheers, the collective gasps, all part of this riveting experience. But it's not just the game that gets hearts racing, it's also a day of indulgence. Super Bowl Sunday sees Americans feasting on a smorgasbord of snacks, from chicken wings to nachos, dips to pizzas. It's a day when diet plans take a back seat, and the joy of sharing good food with friends and family takes center stage. So, how did this colossal event come to be? Let's dive into the history of the Super Bowl. The year was 1967, two rival leagues, the American Football League, known as the AFL, and the National Football League, or NFL, decided to settle their rivalry on the field. It was a time of fierce competition, and an undeniable desire to claim the title of the best in American football. On this field of clash, the Kansas City Chiefs, representing the AFL and the Green Bay Packers representing the NFL, went head-to-head -head in what was then known as the AFL-NFL World Championship game. The Packers emerged victorious that day, etching their name in the annals of football history, yet the name Super Bowl was not associated with this grand event from the get-go. It was born out of a casual remark made by Lamar Hunt, the owner of the Kansas City Chiefs. Hunt had jokingly referred to the championship as the Super Bowl, inspired by a popular children's toy of the time, the Super Bowl. The media caught wind of Hunt's term, and began using it in their coverage. The term resonated with fans and players alike, capturing the grandeur and intensity of the championship. In the wake of its first game, the Super Bowl began to gain momentum, becoming more than just a championship game. It started to embody the spirit of American football, merging the best of both leagues and creating a spectacle that was much more than a game. The AFL-NFL merger in 1970 marked a new era, and the Super Bowl became the ultimate football championship. This was not just a merger of two leagues, but a fusion of talent, passion, and the shared dream of every American football player, to be part of the Super Bowl legacy. From its humble beginnings, the Super Bowl has evolved into a spectacle like no other. In the early days, back in 1967, the game was a simple showdown between the champions of the American Football League and the National Football League. The ticket prices were affordable, the viewership was modest, and the player skills were commendable, yet not as refined as today. Fast forward to today, and the Super Bowl has transformed dramatically. Over the years, ticket prices have skyrocketed, reflecting the high demand and the prestige associated with the event. It's not just a game anymore, it's an experience, a status symbol, a bucket list item for many. Television viewership has also seen a meteoric rise. From a few million in the initial years to over a hundred million today, the Super Bowl captivates audiences worldwide, making it one of the most watched events annually. The players too have evolved. Today's athletes are faster, stronger and more strategic owing to advances in training and technology. The level of competition is fierce and the stakes are higher than ever. Every move, every second counts making the game an enthralling spectacle. And who can forget the halftime shows? What started as a simple intermission has transformed into a grand performance featuring some of the biggest names in the music industry. The halftime show has become a cultural phenomenon in its own right, with performances that are as eagerly anticipated as the game itself. Despite these changes, certain traditions have remained, making the Super Bowl a unique blend of sports and entertainment. The national anthem performance, the coin toss, the advertisements, these elements have withstood the test of time, adding to the charm and allure of the Super Bowl. The evolution of the Super Bowl is a testament to its enduring appeal, a testament to the magic of this extraordinary game. The Super Bowl has seen many records set and broken. Let's explore some of these impressive feats. From the first Super Bowl in 1967, the event has become a stage where records are made and shattered. The teams that grace this grand stage leave their mark in the annals of Super Bowl history, some with perfect winning percentages, others with the most appearances, and still others setting records that stand out in their own right. Eight teams, all from the National Football League, boast a perfect winning percentage in the Super Bowl, having won every time they've made it to the big game. 
these teams have demonstrated exceptional performance, earning their place in Super Bowl lore. On the other hand, the team with the most Super Bowl appearances is a testament to consistent excellence. This team has managed to reach the pinnacle of American football time and time again, showcasing their prowess and resilience in the face of fierce competition. Moving beyond team records, individual players have also etched their names in Super Bowl history. Some have performed incredible athletic feats on the field, setting records for the most passing yards, touchdowns or interceptions in a single Super Bowl game. These records highlight the exceptional talent and skill that these athletes bring to the game. The Super Bowl is also a stage where coaching brilliance shines. Some coaches hold the record for the most Super Bowl wins, a testament to their strategic acumen and ability to inspire their teams to perform at their best when it matters the most. And let's not forget the fans. Record-breaking viewership numbers year after year show the immense popularity of the Super Bowl, not just in the United States but around the world. The Super Bowl truly is a global spectacle. These records are a testament to the hard work, dedication and skill of the players and teams who participate in the Super Bowl. Beyond the field, the Super Bowl has a significant impact on the American economy. This annual spectacle is not just about touchdowns and trophies, but also about dollars and cents, and lots of them. Firstly, we need to talk about advertising. The Super Bowl is the grandest stage for advertisers, with millions of viewers tuned in not just for the game, but for the commercials as well. Companies shell out an astronomical amount for a mere 30-second spot, and the price tag has been increasing year after year. This enormous investment isn't without reason. The reach and impact of these advertisements can shape consumer behavior for the rest of the year, making it an important economic driver. Then there's the food. Oh, the food. The Super Bowl is synonymous with snacks and beverages. From chicken wings to pizzas and from beers to soft drinks, the consumption skyrockets. It's a bonanza for food and beverage companies. Supermarkets and restaurants also see a surge in sales, contributing to the economic activity. The host city also enjoys a significant economic boost. The influx of tourists for the game leads to increased spending on hotels, restaurants, and local attractions. This infusion of cash can stimulate the local economy and create temporary jobs, helping the city and its residents. And let's not forget about merchandise, jerseys, caps, mugs, you name it. Fans love to show their allegiance and the Super Bowl gives them the perfect excuse to splurge on all sorts of memorabilia. This again fuels the economy. In essence, the Super Bowl is a multifaceted economic event. It extends far beyond the game itself, impacting various sectors of the economy and creating a ripple effect that can be felt nationwide. It's a testament to the power and influence of this beloved American tradition. The Super Bowl, therefore, is not just a game but a major economic event. Like any major event, the Super Bowl has had its share of controversies and criticisms. Let's turn back the pages of history and revisit some of these contentious moments. One of the most talked about aspects of the Super Bowl is the halftime show. Over the years, these performances have been both lauded and lambasted. From wardrobe malfunctions to lip-syncing scandals, the halftime show has often been the epicenter of debate and discussion. However, these controversies have not diminished the show's appeal, with millions tuning in every year to watch the spectacle. The Super Bowl's advertising, another significant element of the event, has also been a source of controversy. With a 30-second spot costing millions of dollars, the stakes are high for advertisers. However, the high cost doesn't always guarantee success. Some commercials have been criticized for being in poor taste, offensive, or politically charged. Despite the controversy, these advertisements have become an integral part of the Super Bowl experience, with many viewers tuning in specifically to watch the commercials. Ticket prices for the Super Bowl have also been a point of contention. Over the years, prices have soared, making it increasingly difficult for the average fan to attend the game. Critics argue that this trend has transformed the Super Bowl into an event for the elite, alienating the very fans that the sport is supposed to entertain. But it's important to remember that these controversies don't define the Super Bowl. They are parts of a larger narrative, one that also includes thrilling games, iconic performances, and unforgettable moments. The Super Bowl, like any major event, is a reflection of our society, with all its complexities and contradictions. These controversies are part of the Super Bowl's history and have shaped the event in significant ways. As we look to the future, what might lie ahead for the Super Bowl? In the world of sport and entertainment, change is the only constant. 
As technology evolves, so too does the way we consume and enjoy major events like the Super Bowl. The potential future of the Super Bowl is exciting and full of possibilities. Imagine a world where the Super Bowl transcends the boundaries of a traditional game. We could see changes in the format, driven by advancements in technology, creating an even more interactive and immersive experience. Virtual reality could place fans right in the heart of the action, feeling every tackle and hearing every cheer. Augmented reality could enhance the viewing experience, providing real-time stats and analysis directly onto our screens. But it's not just technology, the Super Bowl itself could evolve. We could see more international games expanding the appeal of the sport beyond the borders of the United States. We might even see a shift in the traditional Sunday game, as the NFL explores new ways to maximize viewership and engagement. Speaking of viewership, trends indicate that more and more people are tuning into the Super Bowl each year. With the rise of streaming platforms and social media, the Super Bowl has the potential to reach an even wider global audience. In the future we might see Super Bowl parties not just in American homes, but in homes across the world. The future could also bring changes in the way the NFL and its partners use the Super Bowl to promote social causes. We've already seen a shift towards more socially conscious advertising and performances. In the future the Super Bowl could become a platform for promoting positive change on a global scale. But at its core the Super Bowl will always be about the game. It's about the thrill of the competition, the roar of the crowd, and the glory of victory. It's about the players who become legends and the moments that become memories. Whatever the future holds, one thing is certain. The Super Bowl will continue to be a major event in American sports and culture. So, there you have it, the history, facts, and impact of the Super Bowl. We've journeyed from its humble beginnings in 1967 when the Green Bay Packers took the first championship title. We've seen how the Super Bowl emerged from a game designed to crown the champion of the American Football League and the National Football League into the spectacle it is today. We've marveled at the records set and shattered, from the teams with perfect winning percentages to the most appearances. We've cheered for the San Francisco 49 ERs and the Kansas City Chiefs, two franchises that have left indelible marks on this great tradition. We've also taken a deep dive into the Super Bowl's economic impact, a phenomenon that extends far beyond the football field and into our homes, businesses, and communities. We've seen how this annual event has become a billion-dollar industry that influences advertising, food consumption, and even our national economy. We've touched on controversies and criticisms, moments that have sparked dialogue and brought about change, reminding us that the Super Bowl, like any other major event, is not immune to the broader societal issues. Looking forward, we anticipate the innovations and changes that will continue to shape the Super Bowl's future. As technology advances and the sport evolves, we can only imagine what new records will be set, what new stories will unfold, and how the Super Bowl will continue to captivate us. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the Super Bowl's fascinating history. See you at the next game.